Hey, sneaking out back in the house today. Well, today, before I do a distro review, <clears throat> somebody asked me about Pulse Audio and installing it and all the dependencies, etc. I'll just go and show you. So we'll go back to my comments on Simplice 4. When well, I'm using Simplice 4 to do it, by the way, on the same machine. Dolphin Toad says, blah, 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 blah. Quick question about Pulse stuff, though. All the necessaries come down with just a search for Pulse in Synaptic. Right, this all depends on distro really, it's quite distro specific. Sometimes it comes down with everything, sometimes you go, bloody hell, what's bloody missing now? And I'll show you what I mean, okay? I won't answer the question about crunch bang just yet. We'll get around to that a bit later, I think. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. I'm gonna go here, go to applications, and go down to administration and synaptic package manager. I'm gonna put in my password. Like so, dun, 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 dun. and I wait for Synaptic. I wait for Synaptic to do its stuff. A bit quick drinkage. It's early in the morning here. Well, just finished school, should we say? Hmm. A uh, bit of drinkage. Thank you. Right, I'm putting it up here. I'm going to do the full search for Pulse. Okay. I'm going to search it, and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to just give it a second, and I'll show you what you normally have to do. Okay. So, bearing in mind you've never done it before, you go down. The main one you want is the PAV control, or Pulse Audio Volume Control. So if I scroll down, uh, scroll down. Right, the PAU, PAVU control is one you need, okay? Then on others, you need also the Pulse Audio Manager and the Pulse Device Chooser. Make sure these are ticked, because just by ticking one, doesn't actually mean it's going to tick the others for you, but it will pull down quite a few dependencies, to be honest with you. You can do PAVU meter, but I've found you don't actually need that one, really. The main fall down when you're trying to install Pulse is when you, you start Pulse up, you say your USB mic and what have you, it says it ain't working, the Pulse X11's not working, restart it or start it manually. If we scroll down, you also want the Pulse Audio server, okay, so just Pulse Audio on its own. These don't always pull down each other. I don't know why, it's quite distro specific. I just don't know why, I just don't do it. So make sure they're all ticked for a start. And we go down, go down. But right, this is the main one that stops Pulse working. It's Pulse Audio at module X11. When your Pulse don't work, this is the one that's missing. When you install this, it'll also pull down the Pulse Audio utilities. Once you've installed that, you'll find that your Pulse server works and it's super duper and you can start doing stuff like that if you know what I mean. If I do it here, here and here. Go to applications again, sound and video, and I go to my pulse audio volume control and I click it. As you can see, da, 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 da. So it's done the connection. As you can see, it's recording now because I'm actually on the machine. It's from my little USB microphone, the nice cheapy one. You need to configure your input device and your configuration. So for me here, it would be my C-Media USB audio device for my microphone. And I'm using the uh, audio output from the sound card on the machine. And you also need to go to input devices and make sure you've got this all checked out correctly. As you can see, make sure you're using the C-Media one and not the sound card one. And then all in all, it all should work hunkily dory for you and you'll be able to do your videos and everything oh by the way also when you're using record my desktop you may have to change some settings in the sound it normally comes under the sound setting of default <clears throat> you'll see default is in uh, capital letters if you change that to small small letters it will also work in record my desktop now i hope that solves a few problemos for you that you all having really especially in Debian it just doesn't it just doesn't pull down all the dependencies all the time but if you've got all them ticked everything should be hunky dory yeah sneaky Linux going at I see you later for another stream very soon bye bye <laughs>